What is going on, people? Welcome to another edition of Hustler Kung Fu Live. This uh, session is going to be a little different. It's going to be a little laid back. We're going to actually have a few discussions here with the people. One of the things that has happened, like, it's, all right, let me go ahead and just say this. Uh, I have a phone number and I have an email address. Don't be contacting me on Facebook and Instagram with business related questions. When I do these live streams, that is your time to ask a question. And. You know, I got a question on Instagram that I'm not um, going to answer because here's the thing. I got a lot of stuff going on. All right. And, you know, getting in these one on one Facebook conversations, getting in these one on one, it, it's, it's, it's kind of draining. So I, I, I try to avoid that at all costs. I'd rather do a group presentation and then answer questions that way. But, you know, I got a lot of people who can't make the live streams. Now, here's the thing, and this is going to be part of tonight's conversation. I'm here. I'm available. I'll answer some questions, right? But you can't make it when I do a live stream. Here's the thing, and I want to talk about this. When you're getting started, you got to move towards the cheese. I am the cheese. I'm not going to come to you because, you know, I had someone who sent me like <clears throat> this five paragraph question at like 2.30 in the morning. And I'm just like, I'm not even messing with this. I'm not even messing with this. So one of the things that I want to talk about is the beginning. Because I got a lot of people who are in the beginning stages of trying to get started. Thank you, Rons. Appreciate it, Rain and Woman. The hardest thing for you to do <clears throat> is make that mental shift. <clears throat> uh, Dwayne Weaves, that is in the YouTube section of the corporate toolbox. You should have access to that. Tomorrow, I'm going to have to um, go through my emails and do all of this stuff. Because essentially, when I created uh, B-School for Hustlers, I only created a set amount of courses because the way that Think If It works is that you would have to manually go in. But it's not like <clears throat> it's a ton of people that I have to manually go in and add their courses, but we'll be doing that tomorrow. So now the information will be available. But let, let's talk about the beginning phase. First thing is you've got to get out of your employee indoctrination. <clears throat> being an employee, what is being an employee? Someone hires you. And someone tells you what to do. It's like, what's my next step? What do I do? This, this is the apex of many of the questions that I get. What should I do? You're in an employee mindset. <laughs> They're in, because essentially this is the 
the hardest thing that you're going to have to do is get out of that employee mindset and get into a corporate mindset. Excuse me. Because so many of you are in that employee mindset that it filters through everything that you do. And one of the things that I want you guys to understand is you have to go from what should I do to I'm going to do this. That's the pretty much that that's going to be the hardest part. Sure thing. Uh, Jose, that that is pretty much a fact. But <clears throat> the hardest section is going through that gauntlet because that employee mindset keeps you waiting. You're waiting on someone to come tell you what to do. You're waiting on someone to tell you um, what business, and th this is what I get frequently. What business should I go into? Unless I personally know you and know who you are and know some of your proclivities and know a little bit about you, I have no clue to what type of business you should be involved in. I have no clue. And I get hit that hit up over the head with that question all of the time. I get hit with that question all of the time. And it is um, perplexing because one of the things that you guys have got to do is get in the mindset that I am the captain of. I am the architect. I am the agent of my life. Because there are some of you who've been watching this channel for years and you still haven't started a business. You still haven't taken action. You're still in that um, phase. Yeah, because essentially this is the hardest part about starting a business. Getting your mental together. This is the hardest part because, first of all, if you don't have the right mental, this puts you in a position where you don't take action. This is one of the hardest things that I try to push out. Steve Jamison, I like that. The difference between a dog and a wolf is that the dog looks for food from his owner. A wolf goes out and finds its own food. I like that. I like that a lot. It, it, it's because essentially I get hit up with that question because people don't have the understanding that you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, this is one of the things that I tell people because, all right, I'm going to talk about my journey. The do more principle is everything, man. The do more principle is everything. Unchain your mind, pretty much. Because essentially, this is where I was many, many years ago. I was at this point where... I wanted success. I wanted to be successful. I wanted to do some things. I wanted to be wealthy. I wanted to have money. And I wanted and I wanted and I wanted, but I didn't know how until I came across the teachings of Earl Nightingale. That was the first introduction to service, things you need to do to get money. That was the first introduction to it. And until that point, I was deeply frustrated and I was asking many of the questions that many people ask me um, because the first thing that I did 
was I got Earl Nightingale lead the field, and I began to listen to it. And then the first situation, because I had a job at the time, the first situation that I ran into with uh, Earl Nightingale lead field was I got laid off from that job. I got laid off from that job. And I had been listening to Earl Nightingale. And I went home and I realized I needed a better job. My issue was I didn't have a job that paid the money that I wanted. So I came up with Scheme Incorporated. I came up with um, a plan. I went to monster.com. I just checked. It still exists. Monster.com still exists. And I sat down with pen and paper and came up with a written plan how to solve my problem. And it worked. First time that I ever did anything like that, and it worked. And this came from Earl Nightingale. Taking action, um, putting stuff into play. I mean, and then I got the job at Run a Crate. And once again, once I began to learn, I didn't stop learning. Even to this day, I still learn. Like tonight, I'm going to listen to some audiobooks. I'm, I'm still learning. I am still passionate about learning. But more important, learning is just a part of the process. Because once you learn, then you have to take action. And I wasn't an action taker in my former life. I was um, someone who was out here doing things, but I wasn't an action taker. I wasn't the person that I am today. So I learned and I began to take massive action. I began to take a lot of action. Massive action is getting started. All right, let me go ahead and go through the whole process. When I got laid off, I came home, took out a sheet of paper, took out a pen, wrote up a plan, and then within five minutes of creating the plan, I began to execute. This is one of the biggest issues that I have. Like right now, I'm giving you a free course that if you would do it, you would make some money. 90% of the people who sign for that course don't do the course. Because that requires getting off their booty and taking action. And this is the thing. Like, right now, I'm about to go ahead and give you guys some serious game. It's COVID, right? It's the pandemic. If I did this the other day, actually, I did this a while back. I, I went to get a smoothie and there was this BMW X5 because I was thinking, of, you know, in the back of my mind, I was thinking about upgrading and it was on. Right. So I just knocked on the window, window rolled down, hot chick in the car. And I asked her about the uh, BMW and everything. And she told me what year it was and everything. And then uh, I pointed to my car. I was like, I have a 2012. I'm thinking about upgrading. And we had a little conversation. Got a name and number. We went out a few times. <laughs> Smashed that. All because I just took action. During COVID. During COVID. See, this is one of the things. It is said a coward dies a thousand deaths. 
if you're sitting around like, you know, I'm getting ready to tear it up with disruptive mail because now with OnlyFans, I can do my stories and don't have to worry about the YouTube stuff. Yes, the employee mindset will keep us in bondage. Your honesty inspired me never to be lazy about to be in the master of my life in every area. And th this is one of the things about becoming a corporate citizen. Right now, I pay um, $550 a month for my health insurance. There are many people who will forever have a job because of health insurance. Because of health insurance versus the, the you know, because my health insurance runs me like 6500 bucks a year. I get everything. I got dental. I got vision. I got the whole package. And I got a very low deductible. You got to shop around for your health insurance. So because I have taken on that burden of getting my health insurance, and essentially, the company pays for the health insurance. Company pays for the health insurance. So that's a tax deduction. Most don't plan. This is one of the things. Don't ask how I can get the job, but how I can be service in the great land. Pretty much. If your way work while you're still broke, that's a pretty good question. Change can be scary, got to push through. And this is one of the things that I keep preaching because, like, seriously, I'm getting ready to, because I got the hustle camp. I was thinking about doing some hustle camp, but the hardest thing that I have to do is to get people to take action. Perfection is the mother of procrastination. Like, I had someone find a typo in the corporate toolbox messaging, right? Corporate toolbox since September, October, November. I'm on track to make $800,000, maybe close to a million with the corporate toolbox. And this person found a typo. That typo didn't stop the money from coming in. That typo didn't stop nothing. It stopped nothing. Nothing. You want to know why? When I wrote my first book, there was all kinds of issues. There was a lot of typos in that first draft. I heard an editor um, got screwed on that. I had to put that book out not once, not twice, but Three times. Currently on Amazon is the final version of that book because I heard, you know, uh, I heard someone who was in college who actually edited the book and did a really good job. Uh, no, the amino habits, they're not a deduction. They're not a deduction. Yeah, because essentially you, you got to get out and start doing. You, you got to do because essentially I, I look back on my life and like the Craigslist protocols because I built them for selling, you know, bedroom furniture, dining room sets, washers and dryers, uh, whatever I could get out these storage units. Then I was able to tweak them for my personal life. And it worked. Cody Banks, most people sit around waiting for their ship to come in. The problem is they never sent one out. Woo! That's a good one. That's a good one because essentially like right now um, I'm on Bumble and Bumble is a cesspool. Bumble is not working. I'm getting more action <laughs> from the Sugar Baby website than I am from Bumble. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. So one of the things that I want to say that, is, you know, massive action is 
waking up each day with a plan. And, you know, I have the power of six course. I don't think that is in um, the corporate toolbox. I think I need to move that there. And essentially starting each day with an agenda and getting busy. Dan Locke said he went through the same thing with his first book. He said it's so bad, so he'll buy it back if you can find any of them. But once again, that book, which started off as a editorial disaster, went on to make me $1.5 million. What did I do? I put it out. Oh, this has some issues. Then I fixed the issues. Then there were some more issues. Then I fixed the issues. Then I kept putting it out. And kept putting it out. See, th this is the thing. You you got to take action. You got to do something. Because, like, right now, let me get in here. I got people all on Instagram asking me all kinds of questions. And essentially, here's the thing. Uh, I got someone who wants to start a trust. And they want to start flipping houses. They want to start a trust. They want to start flipping houses. They want to get in business. Notice the reoccurring theme. I want to, I want to, I want to. Not I'm doing you know, you want to flip a house. You know how much money you need to get in house flipping? 10 k $10,000 to get your first property. Go out and get a traditional mortgage, put $10,000 down, get your first property, fix it up, flip it. That is the hardest thing for so many people to do is to get started. Monka, who was in the Navy, used to say a ship is safest in the harbor, but that's not the purpose of the boat. Nope. Uh, I had people who bought that first book who made money, even with the typos. If the typos take you off the overall message, then you're doomed from the start. These are perfectionate Percy's, perfectionate Priscilla's. They're looking for perfection. Glendon, I know many people stay in the Department of Corrections just for the insurance retirement. Because essentially, like, um, this is my insurance card, right? I had to go out and buy my own insurance. I take on that responsibility responsibility. Self-published drew Amazon is great. Here's something that's funny. Amazon actually owes me some money because uh, I don't remember the login to the um, Amazon, because there's no telling how much money in there, because I need to email them. Because essentially, are becoming more when you stay on point, when you start each day with an agenda, and then you work on these things, you 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 start to move ahead. Like today, I don't know, at least ten k. I've been telling people, if you did one task per week towards your business in a year, you would have done 52 tasks in a year. Exactly. This is called breaking up the elephant into little pieces. See, I'm used to doing stuff. I used to be a big talker. I used to talk a good game, but I, I really wasn't on my um, J-O-B, so to speak.
Uh, Ryan Collins, if you want to get in business for marketing, start marketing now. You can go to college for that if you want to, but, you know, I think you will learn more if you actually start it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the sounds. Um, it is StreamYard that I'm on. I'm not getting too many complaints, so I think most people are good. But essentially, you, you got to get started, man. You, you got to get started. You got to keep working. You, you, you got to have a dream. You got to have a vision. Because that night I came home and I worked on Scheme Incorporated is what I called it. And I got that first job and I saw the power of planning, strategy, and execution. Because many of you are really good students and studying and you, you're watching the YouTube videos, you're, 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 you're online, but you're not taking action. Like... This chick, let's see. Do I have her picture? That was the chick in the BMW. She's a hot little mama. She's a hot little mama. I just went ahead and knocked on the window. It, it, it was that's, that's how I got started. Yeah, you got to get started. You got to have goals. I think Cody Banks, you're the only one that has that problem. Dollar bill. Glenn, I've been watching you since 2014. Listen to you definitely makes a difference. Cyber screw business started in 2015. Got a third tier contract. All for making the move from your advice. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Awesome. 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 Because essentially, you got to get started. And, <clears throat> you know, this, this is kind of one of the things that is very frustrating about YouTube. This is a very important message, and I don't have that many people watching. But if I was to talk about the stimulus checks or something like that, there'd be like 300, 400 people in here. So this is another reason that people are not successful. They don't, folk, they don't focus on successful things. They don't focus on successful things like... Um, my first Forex video didn't really do that well, but I'm going to put up because I figure I'm going to have to put up about seven before it starts taking off. If you go to school for marketing and business, you're wasting your money coming from a businessman and graduate cheaper routes to do it. Just get started. Now, nah, they ain't going to break up. They're not going to break up Facebook just like they didn't break up Microsoft. Now, they did break up. Bell's the AT and T. Then AT and T got back together again. They did break that up into um, Bell South. I forget what they did. And so essentially, you know, one of the things you've got to do is get started. You got to take action because there's so many people who are sitting on their hands who are just kind of hoping, wishing, waiting for something good to come. Because like, like this, this message I got, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. There is nothing that they are currently doing. It's just, I want to, 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 I want to. There is no... I'm doing. There's none of that. It's all uh, 
I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to. Man, talking and doing the two different things, doing gives you a chance to win. Uh, absolutely. So essentially, that's just a message on this Friday because, you know, we're going to have Christmas in two weeks and then the world's going to go back on pause just like it did for Thanksgiving. So I want you guys to chase your dreams, to take action, to become great, to do things that you need to do so that you can have the lives that you want to have. Because, I mean, it sounds simple, but becoming a doer is one of the hardest things that you're going to do. All right. So that's all I got for you guys. Go below, begin the corporate toolbox. Holiday pricing is on in effect. And I will see you guys in the next one.